Good afternoon guys, this is David from Busy Bee Farms and I'm coming to you this evening and we're going to discuss how I built my scalder. So um, when we first started looking at getting meat birds, I started watching uh, all the videos that I could off of YouTube on how to process meat birds. And um, Josh at Stony Ridge Farm he had a really great video on the uh, portable chicken tractor, and I used that to build uh, that. But um, the scalders, if you buy a commercial scalder or a, uh, a, a mass-produced scalder, they're quite expensive. So I started looking at, can I build a scalder? So I found online a uh, scalder that this is resembles and it's a um, um, whiz whiz bang scalder so this scalder is based off of a 55 or a 50 gallon hot water heater it's a gas water heater so <clears throat> what I done is is I just measured up about waist high on me and that's where I made my cut so I'm I'm guessing that this is about 35 gallons or so um, that I cut off I just used a four inch angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and laid it on its side and just cut it across and then up here on the top I took out um, this piece, which this just blow as the uh, fire burns down below, it blows the heat onto the uh, center pipe. And I took that out and I used a cutting torch. It would barely fit inside. And I just cut that around to uh, dislodge my exhaust pipe in the water heater to uh, the, the top of the tank that would have been up here. And then uh, I wanted I wanted to make this one because um, it was very mobile. Um, so I went to Harbor Freight and I got a hand dolly, and it's just got a regular uh, one inch uh, ratchet strap on it that holds it on there. And what makes this different from like a uh, turkey fryer styled scalder like what uh, uh, Josh Stony Ridge Farmer is using is this one is automatic <clears throat> so it does take electricity which I have um, the electricity comes into this Ranco uh, electronic thermostat it comes in there and then it comes out of the thermostat and my gas valve is a 24 volt gas valve so I had to put a transformer on here to convert the power from 110 volts down to through the transformer down to 24 volts and then the wires come down and it goes into my gas valve here that um, controls the gas from a propane tank to the burner down here in the bottom now this water heater was just an old water heater that I got from my sister uh, she had bought uh, they bought a house and the water heater didn't uh, heat very well and that was because the um, um, the thermostat in it was built up with uh, mineral and calcium deposit so I didn't need that because I was putting an electronic gas valve on here anyways so there's the the number if you can see it there that's the number for this Honeywell gas valve it's a electronically controlled gas valve and you you turn your knob here to light it to first you put it to pilot and it lights like any other electronic or like any other gas valve you hold in your pilot and then you hit the igniter to light your pilot down on the bottom 
once it heats up just a little bit it will heat up this copper line that comes up that's called a thermocoupler and once it is heated up then it will hold the pilot open and then you can turn it to on when you do that then the thermostat is waiting on I'm sorry the gas valve is waiting on the thermostat to tell it to uh, that it needs heat so the thermostat itself I've got it run in the hole where the old gas valve was and in here on the inside let me move these out of the way that's my probe there that comes in that reads the water temperature and what it does is it reads digitally the water temperature and you have a digital readout here and this thing is what makes it so great is is you can tell it when I scald I, I scald at 145 degrees but you can tell this thermostat okay I, I want the temperature to be 145 degrees and then you can tell it how much of a variance you want so if you want it to stay right at 145 degrees then you can uh, set it to one or two degree variance and when the water temperature inside of your scalder drops to that variance so if like I have mine at one degree variance so when it drops down to 144 degrees when it drops down then the thermostat reads that water temperature difference and it tells the gas valve we need more heat and it opens up the gas valve pushes the gas down into the burner and ignites the burner and then it exhausts out up through the top so what makes this so good or in my opinion is that it is portable being on the dolly i can just roll it around move it anywhere i want it's not heavy for me to have to uh you know move it it's not cumbersome and i've got a, a three quarter inch ball valve i took the other one out and put a straight through ball valve so that it will drain quickly um the whiz bang they pour concrete in the bottom so that the water meets up with the hole i didn't see that it was a problem um I, when I drain it down and it gets down to that last inch or so at the bottom, I just tilt it back and it pours right out. So that's the the quick rundown of how I built my scalder. It's nothing uh, special that you have to have to do this other than uh, you know a grinder and with a cutoff wheel. Uh, I probably could have done that up here also. But I was trying to keep as much of the exhaust pipe as I could. And um, my dad had a, a torch there. So that's just what I used. So guys, that is just a quick rundown of the, the scalder that we built. And I have used it twice now. Uh, we processed uh, 45 birds here at the Busy Bee Farms. And um, then we went up to help Josh at Stony Ridge Farms in North Carolina. That's where we met uh, Jared at uh, Flutie, Flutie Lick Homestead. And both of them are great guys. Uh, they've got good information on their channel. So if you've not seen their channel, go check them out. That's uh, Stony Ridge Farmer in North Carolina, Mr. Josh and Jared at Flutie Lick Homestead. And they're in um, Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. So if you have any questions about how I done this, the whiz bang, uh, you can buy the book that will give you instructions and what parts to get. I did not purchase the book just because the reviews that I read about it was that um, 
there are several reviews that the whiz bang you have to buy the plans which they were not that expensive i think they were about twenty dollars and then the parts that he was recommending that you use were so expensive um i have approximately three hundred dollars in my entire setup here which i know that the turkey fryer is much cheaper to uh to purchase but it's not automatic this thing you once you got it set up then it it controls the water temperature for you because with scalding birds if your water temperature is not hot enough the feathers don't release if it's too hot when you take your bird out you're cooking the meat for one and for two when you put it over into your plucker then the skin gets really really soft and it'll rip the skin on your bird so by keeping the water temperature a constant 145 degrees then that takes that headache off of you when you've got so much going on you know you're you're trying to respect these birds the best that you can you've given them the best life that you can but they are here for your food so you want to treat them with as much respect as you can but still complete the job that you are set out to do and that's to put meat in the freezer for your family so you've got the dispatching going on you've got the scalder going on you've got a plucker that is running you got to keep water going and then you've got the actual um uh cutting up of the birds and here on busy Bee farms when we did our chickens we quartered the the meat up um josh at stony ridge we we uh packaged them whole after they were they were gutted and we got the kept the livers and the uh gizzards and uh, the hearts and the feet um we just packaged them like that but here uh we actually quartered them so after we went through that process we went one step further and we cut the breast from the carcass and the thighs and the legs and the wings and we packaged them together so if we want to have uh you know chicken breast then we just go to the freezer and get a package of chicken breast or if we want to have thighs you know you guys get it so back to my my story here the this scalder i made it like this so that i could do just like what we'd done and go to josh's place or go to um, my mom's place or um, recently a co-worker has ordered uh, 50 birds and i told her that i would come and help her process her birds and i am very grateful that these people trust me and will allow me to be part just like josh he he didn't know me personally but he he trusted me enough from talking to me on the phone and talking uh, by email that he allowed me to come out and to bring my scalder and try to be a help and that's the great thing about this it's not tied down to anything uh, i need 110 uh extension cord and a portable gas tank and you know of course we fill it up with water but this thing you can you can set it up just about anywhere and you can you can scald birds as long as you got gas and electricity and water so guys i appreciate you coming and checking out our channel i hope that my video about how i built my scalder these items are not what um are on the whiz bang they're similar but i actually did the my own research and um i used a 110 ranco uh, electronic thermostat a the the uh, transformer is just a basic doorbell transformer i picked up at lowe's i think it was like 13 14 dollars 
and the gas valve I actually called Buller Supply in Nashville and they helped me to figure out exactly which gas valve that I needed now this one is not the same one that is on the whiz bang it's a little bit different but this one is much cheaper than the one that uh, the whiz bang is using and that was why I, I chose to just do the research myself after reading the reviews I'm sure that the whiz bang is a, a knockout scalder it looks identical but just different parts and um, we just hand scalded you know we we set the bird down in here and uh, I'm about six foot one so um, you know that gives you a little bit of idea on the size there I, I can tell you that the eight pound birds that we were doing here at my place eight to ten pounds uh, right after they were dispatched they fit down in here no problem whatsoever I was not keeping the feet on mine so I just I, I hand dunked mine Josh was keeping uh, the feet for broth so we actually used a, a fire poker at his place check out that video but we used a fire poker to push the chicken down in and pull it out of the water but uh, guys I hope that this is giving you some information that would be helpful if you have any questions about what I used or how I done this I'll be happy to try to be a help to you um, just leave me a comment or send me an email and I think that uh, that'll wrap it up thank you for coming and checking out our channel and supporting us here if you've not done so before please hit that subscribe button and y'all take care God bless.